We will not be intimidated. Canada will never be intimidated. Prime Minister Stephen Harper promising justice after what he calls a terrorist act on Canada's capital. Nine fifty-two a.m. Guys, there is a shooter on the loose. Shots ring out at the National War Memorial in Ottawa. Out of the way! Move, move. I just heard a shot and just pow. The shooter, 32-year-old Michael Zihaf Bibo, is a Muslim convert, but officials say he had a troubled past and was planning to fight overseas. A guy came from the side and uh, came out with a rifle and uh, shot at the man. Then the guy went fa falling down. The suspect fatally shooting Canadian Corporal Nathan Cirillo, the 24-year-old father, was one of two soldiers standing guard. Then, around 10 a.m., the shooter hijacked this car and continued his rampage just a few hundred yards away. Entering through doors meant for officials, he starts firing inside Canada's Parliament building. I was literally taking off my coat, going into the caucus room, and you hear this uh, boom, boom, boom. No, 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 no. Police scrambling to protect Canada's top officials. Good job, everybody rushing them outside to safety. Some lawmakers in the building huddle in a caucus room, piling up chairs against the door to barricade themselves in. As police exchange a barrage of bullets with the shooter. They were sort of uh, flanking down the hallway and it looked like the guy either popped out or they saw him. They fired a lot. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of bullets fired. Amid the chaos, Parliament Sergeant at Arms Kevin Vickers fires the fatal shot but not before three others are injured. Put your hands all the way down, all the way down. Vickers killing the suspect near the parliamentary library, fellow officers calling him a hero. When you hear those gunshots and know that your brother was um, in the middle of all of that, was a very surreal experience and uh, horror. This is the second time this week Canada waking up to headlines of terror. On Monday, Canadian authorities say a radicalized Islamist hit and killed a Canadian soldier with his car. I had a chance to talk with uh, Prime Minister Harper. President Obama says we have to remain vigilant. When it comes to dealing with terrorist activity, that it, uh, Canada and the United States uh, has to be entirely in sync. Not only is Canada uh, one of our closest allies in the world, but uh, there are our neighbors and our friends.